We've been told the aliens are coming, but human-like robots are already here. This guy can talk, listen, smell, and even surf the web. He also has a pretty good memory. Here in Konya, Turkey's first robot factory is mass-producing human-like machines. Working with robots was my dream since childhood. It's a joyful responsibility. If things go his way, you'll see these metallic men and women in shopping malls, hospitals, restaurants, and maybe even your own home. The company's founder says the idea is to make human life easier, especially when it comes to manual labor. This includes working underground, under direct sunlight, a chemical lab, or jobs that are monotonous, which may lead to psychological and biological diseases affecting the spinal cord. It's important for us primarily to make robots to work in these kind of jobs. But will automation and robotics also disrupt the job market? No doubt cashiers and salespeople will feel the brunt, replaced by automated kiosks and self-help services. They're not threatening our jobs. On the contrary, they're an opportunity to make our jobs easier, enabling us to work in more qualified, social and productive jobs. Smaller manufacturers will likely integrate robots into their supply chains as they become more affordable and easier to program. Meanwhile, back in this 120,000 square foot factory, it's a dance party. When I make a robot, when I code a robot, and it moves according to the code, the moment I feel that I've given it a soul, that's my greatest happiness. It's not all fun and games. The technological advancements are also a point of national pride. Although working with robotic systems is our job and a scientific activity, it's also a mission and a national struggle for us in the field of technology. We're proud and honoured to carry out such a mission. Who knows what the future may hold, but one thing is certain, we'd be wise to look over our shoulders as these robots may have our jobs in their sights. Whoa! Oh, it's all in